I'm Victoria Ann Taylor. I was born in Russia in 93. I was adopted in 98 and been in the States almost 14 years now. I was in the orphanage for four years since I was a baby and there was a lot of abuse that went on. The transition from Russia to the States was really difficult because I had to learn the language and I had to learn the culture. Um, when I came into a new family, it was hard because like I didn't I didn't know how to respond to like being in that kind of setting. It was more relaxed. I got to wander around when in the orphanage I wasn't able to. I just felt like I was being jailed in because I was in a curb all day. The struggles that brought me to Miracle Meadows was lack of communication. I didn't talk to hardly anybody about what was going on. They didn't know and they would try to talk to me and I wouldn't open up. I just pushed them away and so I don't know and which a lot of times I really didn't know because it was just like a whole bunch of feelings just like men blending in with each other. I had a lot of anger issues that were, I was endangering the smaller kids when they were trying, my mom was trying to raise them. Hitting, abuse, physical, punching, throwing, um, walking away, and cursing was how I showed my anger. It made me feel like I had control over what was happening because I had a say in something when I was younger, I didn't, and I could control how things, what I wanted and what I didn't want. The challenges I had when I came to Miracle Meadows was being in an environment where I had to face peers and interact with people that I didn't like interacting with. Being forced to communicate and having to deal with issues that I wasn't willing to deal with yet. Confrontation made me really angry. I don't know why, it just did. And I would lash out. Miracle Meadows has helped me deal with confrontation in a way that is for the better of me and not that they're out there to get me and to put me down and just to see the ruin of me. And it's also helped me with my anger because I, I, when I start to get angry, I know what I need to do and that is to either leave, tell the person and deal with it then and what makes me really angry. Miracle Meadows has helped me by expressing myself and watching out for body language and how I say things because it has a big way of communicating through what I'm feeling and how I want to respond to things. The most part of Miracle Meadows that has impacted me is the work education part because I had poor work skills when I came and I can People now can show me a task once and I can finish it. My recreation is more balanced now and it's, it helps me to get the energy, energy out that I would take in, out on, in other ways. So like my anger could come out through that and different things. Mr. Clark is my special time buddy and it's impacted me a lot because the staff have been trying to reach out to me but haven't really connected with me as well as Mr. Clark and Ms. Carol have in ways that they'd have to see it and bring it out of me before I'd say anything. And it's good when my special time buddy will open up and say, this is what needs to be dealt with and you're avoiding it. And yeah, it helps a lot. The things that I would say to the kids that have been adopted is, you just gotta, you gotta keep your head up. You gotta try extra hard, because it's gonna be harder for you than the kids that haven't been adopted, because you have more problems, and 
It may be hard to accept at first, but when you can accept them fully and embrace them and know what those individual problems equalize to each one of them and how it impacts you and what you can do to help yourself, in the long run it's better. But if you need help, you need to find help, you know, because if you don't know how to deal with it, you're going to deal with it in a way that could put you in jail and get you a bad record. The thing that I would say to a parent who has a kid that doesn't want to listen to them and defies every rule that they lay down and walks all over them is to just keep going because when they see, when they eventually see how much you've done and how willing you're able to, how willing you're able to go to just to have them to stay with you and for them to have a good life, they're going to change.